everybody, welcome back to my channel and today it is one of our favourite videos. Your favourite video to watch, my favourite video to film. It's going to be a good day. We're going to be jumping teddy bear at home in the arena with my lovely poly jumps. But today guys, there is a twist. Now, some of you may have realised in the last video I did, like this, where I was jumping bear, I think it was the one where I got my new poly jumps, the green ones, the bio resin ones, that we did jump quite big. We jumped like a one, I think it was like 125 fence. And my lower leg is not great over that size fence, probably because I don't jump that size fence very much. I mean, you know, let's be honest, guys. I'm a bit scared of jumping that big. I only really do it on bear because she has got so much scope. But yeah, my leg wasn't looking great. My lower leg's slipping back. My position in general, I just wasn't happy with. A few of you picked up on it in the comments. A few of you spared my feelings and probably just thought it. But nevertheless, it was there, it was obvious, and I wanna fix it. I wasn't very happy. And then a brand happened to get in touch with me who has a product which is designed to help the stability of your lower leg. And I thought, hold the phone this is me this is what i need i need to test this product out so that is what today's vlog is all about i'm just going to set up the jumps quickly now and then i will take you inside and show you what this mysterious product is comment down below really quickly if you think you can guess a little clue is that i've got it from glaze and gordon and they are the only retailer in the uk to stock this product okay comment down below see if you can guess what it is guys i'm going to set up a grid i did a poll on instagram the other day do you want me to do a grid or a course and it came back grid and i think it is probably the best idea because i want to be able to like, get a good shot of me and my leg and doing a course you know that's going to mean that hobbit has to run around loads so we won't do that also i'm going to use my poly jumps obviously and I'm gonna mix the green and the orange ones because it's the 1st of October today. It's officially Halloween month. And what's more Halloween than green and orange? So I'm gonna set up a grid now and then take you guys indoors, show you the mysterious product, which you may or may not have guessed below. And then we're going to trial it against what I already use and the new product. And we're gonna see, does my lower leg improve? I've never ridden in them. This is the first day I'm riding in them. So we'll see. There might not be a great improvement, but fingers crossed. There we go guys, you have just ridden it with me, nice and easy wasn't it? So here we have a one stride double, well just one stride, because it's obviously not a double, because that's there. <laughs> one stride set of uprights. Now you might have seen, I did have the orangey poles on the first one and mum said, no Meg, that's too spooky, too Halloween-y, people will get scared. So swapped it, put the green ones back and then we come to this spooky Halloween themed oxer. At the moment, this is 104, if we're being precise. Obviously, I'm gonna pop it down to get started, but hopefully we'll at least, you know, get up to that one. Maybe not any bigger, don't know how I'm feeling. So this is what we are doing. I'll pop them all down to warm up, but I think it's about time I go and show you guys what we are trialing in this video today. Look at the pretty jump. Dad's decided to mow the lawn. Obviously. Now, like, when else would you mow the lawn? Other than when Meg is doing a video. Hey? Nice and loud. Right, I think that is as quiet as we're gonna get. So I'm gonna try and shout for you guys, shock horror. 
When is dad not doing a bit of garden DIY? And the answer to that is when I'm not filming a video, apparently. Busy. Pop, pop. So, you guys are probably patiently awaiting to see what this product is that we are trialing today. Here is your first little clue. Ted, any idea? Can you open it? Can you open it? <laughs> Mum's just creeping in the background. Take off the little sticky label and we have inside some brand new wide leather stirrup leathers as you can see there. So comparison to my normal stirrups, and you guys are probably getting a bit of a hint of what we're doing in the video today. Just look at the width difference there. This is probably wider than twice the width of my normal ones. I think the penny has just dropped for Bear that she's gonna have to be ridden and do a jumping video because she's gone and hidden. Even the treats aren't bringing her back over. So as I mentioned, these lovely stirrup leathers were sent to me from Glaze and Gordon, who, like I said before, are the only retailer which stock the Pravins wide stirrup leathers in the UK. So if you want to get some of these bad boys, you have to head over to Glaze and Gordon. I'll hold that up for you there and flip this round. There's a bit of information on the back there, which you might be reading and thinking, hmm, that's weird, because that's exactly what I did. And that is that you're not supposed to put any leather balm, soap, cleaner, softener on your lovely Pravins wide leathers. And the reason for that is that they're actually made out of stretched cowhide as opposed to calf leather. That's because calf leather would be too soft and it would actually stretch too much which brings me on to why you shouldn't be putting oil on them because they are already hot fed oil during the tanning process they will naturally soften and move the more you use them but if you do put product on them you can risk them stretching too much and unnaturally they're not designed to have more product on them they're such high quality 100 percent leather that they really don't need it they will soften and stretch a tiny bit because they're 100% leather, but you don't wanna put anything else extra on to make them stretch more. You could end up with them being a bit unlevel or they could wear in sort of different ways. So the Pravins wide stirrup leathers are the original wide design. I will get them out for you there. You can see the bit that sits flush against the saddle is significantly wider than your normal stirrups. And then it does go thinner down there so you can just use them with normal stirrups that you've already got. They're made by top French saddler Pravins Cellier. I think I said that right. And they were also designed with Mikkel Roberts, who is an Olympic rider. So these have got some research behind them. They're made by top saddlers and designed by top riders. They're already being used by top European and French riders, although they've not been seen as much in the UK. I have spotted them on a few different people and always been very, very intrigued. So I am so excited to try some out for myself. They are seamless, which means they won't rub your saddle and boots as much as some other leathers do, which is Fabulous. The idea of the design is that it gives you really good leg stability. They're also designed to alleviate any sort of pain below the waist, so leg, ankle, knee, hip, pelvis. Any pain that might be caused by your leg not being particularly stable, by your lower leg swinging, that will basically be putting extra pressure on your joints. Hopefully these make your legs more stable and therefore the movements reduce and so is the pain. They can be used in all disciplines and are legal under BE, BS and BD rules. Or even if you don't do any competing and you just want to have a sturdier, more supported lower leg, these are the stirrups to try. Although I'm going to trial them for you so you guys don't have to and we will see how well they work. I have got a discount code guys if you want to get 5% off of these on the Glaze and Gordon's website. You can enter Meg Pravins and get yourself 5% off. So if you are interested after watching this video, head over there and get yourself a pair. So the layout for this vlog, this could get fun. I'm turning into PewDiePie, I need a tambourine, don't I? I have got my lovely new strip brothers, never worn, you can see already. They are attached together at the top. I've also got my old stirrup leathers that I've just thrown on the floor. I'm going to pick these up. Here, this will be what you've seen me ride in in basically any other video I've done with Bear. Sometimes I do change my stirrups around, but they're always these kind of leathers and always Shire stirrups. I do have another pair of these Shire stirrups. 
Can anyone guess what we're doing? You got it. We're going to put the wide syrups on and we're going to change them a little bit with my normal syrups and we're going to compare how my lower leg feels, how it looks, and just in general, what my overall position is doing with the different stirrups. One thing to mention is that my knee and my ankle is killing me because Georgie and I went on a two hour hike the other day for no reason whatsoever. So I'm also keen to see if the pain is a bit alleviated with that. I'm gonna tap Teddy Bear up really quickly now. I'm gonna warm up in these stirrups, do a bit of jumping, and then I will go down the grid when it's big and we'll change them and see what happens. Right. Break. Action. Okay, so we've got Teddy Bear out, currently stirrupless. That is not going to do much for my lower Hi, leg. Teddy. Sorry. <laughs> I was already distracted. So, as I mentioned, the Shire stirrups, and we're going to be using the exact same stirrups. It's just different leathers. I'm going to warm up in my new Previns ones. For people wondering, I have gone for 115 centimetres, and I am five foot six. And my legs are... Do you know how long my legs? Three foot? That long. About this long. Good. Scientific. About as long as bears, actually. <laughs> I beg to differ because my <laughs> hip is... You know, it's not even that much in it, which is shameful because bear's tiny. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these on. So you don't need special stirrups as well because they do obviously go narrow for you to actually put them through your irons. Meg, tell me the science behind them. I wish I could. Well, essentially... The idea is that this is a lot wider, so it's going to sit better on your saddle and not move as much. And you've got oh, like yeah. a broader base, really. So the analogy they use is like to, to be more sturdy in your stance, you'd like go low like that, wouldn't you? Like if someone's going to try and push me over, I'd go Hoo! rather than like this. Okay. So that's what the, like, the idea is with the stirrups is that they're a lot wider. So, so they're the going to be sturdier. Is, yeah. So it's meant to help your lower leg not move too much okay and also it's meant to alleviate pain you know i've been whinging about my knee and my ankle i've got bad knees and ankles well you don't ride so i think that's um excuse <laughs> you me ride, look okay. bear, okay. bear doesn't agree she's okay. saying you are taking the mick now meg and but she's not happy with you it's not a domestic isn't it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah if your leg's obviously moving a lot less because like okay. that kind of all of that isn't good for your joints is it no i wonder if it would help my dodgy hips maybe oh. also can i just show you how cute that is a little Previn's stamp at the bottom. They are really, cute. really nice quality. They're 100% leather. Feel lovely. Should I go on eight? This is always a bit of a, you don't know what you're doing, do you, when you get new stirrups? What length to go? Oh, so the, the wide bit doesn't sit against the saddle? No, well, not okay. directly, because it's got that underneath, obviously. To... Okay. Now, they do, they will soften up with the yeah. usage, obviously. Nice. And, uh, ah, I just caught my thumb. <laughs> I just rammed my thumb on that metal bit. That's a bit silly. Or silly. Oh, pull them down. Trick, guys. Is no, they're way too. Short. I know, but when I do it to my armpit, they're way too long. So I'm tempted. Like I do want to start riding shorter, but that does it quite short. Yeah, I put them down too. Two. Yep. So to ten. That's a nice even number. Oh, you do like an even number. Mind you, make eight is an even number as well. Yes, I know, but that's why it's good on two rather than one. <laughs> oh, perfect. God, it's going to be dark by the Sorry. Time. Right, okay. Well, there we go, guys. That's all I wanted to show you is how beautiful they look. They do look nice, don't they? They look don't great. They? Look at Ted. Ted's like, mm. Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> oh. I think she's had enough of you. They're left, aren't they? <laughs> I think they look dead smart. They do. I'm excited. Okay. Let's hope she rides a bit better in them. Hey, Ted. Yeah, you come here. Ooh, go. Right, pop the other one on. And let's more. get um let's get oh, wait, going. I'm put a stirrup on. Oh <laughs> can't get the staff, guys. <laughs> so then we'll attempt to jump those bad boys. Um yeah. yeah. Stop the stirrups at some point. Yeah. If we remember. If we're not having too much fun. You haven't jumped for a while though, have you? I know. <laughs> so if my little leg's terrible, it might not just be uh <laughs> Oh daddy. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll catch up with you once Meg's warmed up. Yeah, well, I'll get on and you can watch me because I've never ridden these, so we'll see. Okay. How they are. Oh, they look so pretty. Yes, they do. Hey, <laughs> naughtiness. Wee. 
Oh, as off. you can see, my ponies are beautifully trained. All oh, these are quite short, babe. I need to go down again. <laughs> Thank you. But I, Georgia says I need to put my stirrups down. No, up. You look like a race jockey. You have to jump again. Big one. Right. I'm going to put my <laughs> stirrups down again, guys, and just ignore that rude comment <laughs> from my so called mother. Oh, that cake and biscuits. <laughs> are you done? You don't have to be here. I could find someone else to film. <laughs> could you? <laughs> Maybe. Comment below if you want to film. Oh dear. One or two? I think two. But, right, well my issue here, Mum, is that then it's not going to reach to the pokey, the tucky in thing, is it? I suppose they are going to stretch a tiny bit. You've got yeah. to bear that in mind, guys. And it does. Oh. Crisis. Crisis averted. averted. We're all right. Excellent. Okay, right. You guys are probably bored of seeing me adjust my stirrups, so I'll see you when I'm actually trotting. <laughs> action. Okay, we've adjusted them. Are you ready to see some action, guys? I am. Trot on. Okay, I wasn't actually expecting to feel a massive difference just in trot, but I generally do. How does your leg feel? What's the difference? I'm on the wrong diagonal. <laughs> Actually, they do. Your legs are very it still. It feels like my stirrup is attached to my saddle down there. Wow. Like it doesn't feel like there's anything. I think the true test would be for me to ride in them and see. Because you're obviously much more experienced. Whether I think, I think my... some would say. My, my legs do flap backwards and forwards. But mine do as well, which is why like I've gotten into the habit of clamping my knee on too much. Ah. I'm going to adjust them back a bit. Very secure. Wow. I wish I could. I mean, I can't like move my leg to show you what they're doing because you can sort of. Can you see anything there? Well, no, I know. Mean, I can see, and they look lovely. <laughs> Under your leg twisting. They're just not move. Like when you, even when you move your leg, the stirrup leather stays in the same place. And are you allowed to ride dressage tests in them? <laughs> or me maybe i'll take up bd do you want to jump do you want to get on now no <laughs> i was talking about dressage okay. i do feel so secure oh, i'll tell you what i'm going to try is in a half seat in your more secure position yeah and just able to hold it for longer because you're not moving as much is it less sort of tiring on the lower leg yeah i mean i've only done two circles obviously then i don't <laughs> so i wouldn't expect to feel much but you've not got all that moving or had much moving but i think you would be yeah it would be less tiring Good girl. Bear knows what's coming. I think it's time to jump. I think so too. She's keen. There's a fresh wind. Stop. <laughs> oh, Bear. Bear said we're now showing gallop. <laughs> oh, this should be entertaining, guys. I'll go and put the jumps down. Cross pole. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, we've got some hefty cross poles set up. Looking pretty big. And I've got that pre pre jumping bear for the first time in a while nerves. Uh, uh, I think the last time I jumped her was 
when we got the new green jumps, wasn't it? Oh, that was ages ago. I know. <laughs> Excellent. <coughs> Great start, guys. Naughty pony. Oh god. <laughs> she, she is such a muppet. <laughs> well that was interesting to see how they coped with a naughty pony. I don't know if anyone's gonna be looking at my leg there. <laughs> but I did feel very secure. Just as well. I think she's just feeling well. Oh, Lima nearly missed that one. Ooh, well, this is. Are we out of middle one? I don't know. Well, should we just call it a day? Yeah, so <laughs> end of the video. I feel secure. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like and subscribe. Who wants to see the jumps go up a bit? <laughs> Not me. Do you want to jump bigger, Meg? Oh. Bear, do you want to jump bigger? Oh, I don't need to jump any bigger. <laughs> I have fun all by myself. She's are quite tired now, then. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's put a middle cross up. Okay. Let's see what happens. It's like being in a like rally car. <laughs> right, guys. Gilet's coming off. It's getting serious. A little bit. Thank you. Okay. We've got a little. I can't say an oxer, but that's not an oxer, is it? No. A, sp a spread is what it is. And a massive upright. That's got to be at least 75. Oh, no, I think it's about 65. 65, pretty big, pretty big. But so far, stirrups feeling really nice and secure. I actually think I will go up, not right now, at some point, once they've stretched a tiny bit, because I feel like I could go up half a hole. So once they've stretched, I'll be perfect. Right. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. I am. <laughs> Ooh, super jump. Good girl, Bear. Can I come down again? Okay. Good girl. Right, let's pull them all up. Good girl. You happy Woo! with that? That was fun. Right, we are going to change, oh, brakes, into my old stirrups now. Jump it at this height. Should I do it one more time like this? Because okay. I feel like that was like a test to run. And then, yeah, then, then we'll change we'll and we'll stirrups compare. And see. We'll do, I'll try and do a slow-mo split screen. And it'll be interesting to see uh, your feeling, how you feel. I feel like, bearing in mind she's quite bouncy and like she's whipping around the corner. Like I do feel quite secure. And like she is tiny, so there's not a lot in front of me. So I often do get a bit of a... Like a, I don't feel that secure on Bear often because she's like a... She's like a little wiggly worm. Yes, <laughs> but faster than a worm. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, let's um, grab the other stirrups and reconvene. Right, so we have swapped stirrups to your old ones or levers. Old ones. What do you think, Mum? Do I suddenly look like I can't ride? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is the answer to that. Yeah, they definitely are moving more. So we've tried to get them as close as we can lengthwise, guys. These are a smidgen longer, but that's just the way the holes sort of worked out. Um, yeah, not that much difference. So let's go. 
Definitely move I did more. feel okay, but this isn't very big. Do we put it up a bit? Hang on, I'll come once more. I mean, I can't ride the corner in them, apparently. Go. Oh, good girl. Shall we pop it up with these and then we'll swap them again? I don't want to jump on 25 because George is not here and no one's going to make me. <laughs> so we'll do it to whatever that is. Oh, it's only 104. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Right. right, so we've gone up to one metre four. Yeah, we call it 105. 105. It looks 105, it looks really massive. Well, it does when you're on a little midget pony. She's not that tiny. Well, she is really. Sorry, Heather. I love you so much. <laughs> She's. Oh, oh, ah! Not that much. <laughs> that, that was her telling you off for riding a rubbish corner. Go near any of that. That's no. <laughs> no, that rubbish corner up there. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. So she's like, I'll teach you to think about corners properly. Hey I there. I told you I loved you though. Yeah, she said you're rubbish. Okay, shall we put the other leathers back on, do you think? Yeah. yeah. Got my nice leathers back on. Proof. They just sit so flush. I was literally saying to mum, like I genuinely did feel a lot less secure. I think doing the direct comparison, like literally I had like, it was like five minutes between going down the line with different stirrups. Like it felt so, so different. They just feel more secure. Like if, like I said, it's almost like your stirrup is attached from there. Like it's like, that's the only movement you've got as opposed to all of that up there. Yeah. But saying that it's still like, it's easy to put your legs back for like a canter transition or whatever. Do you think you're gonna be able to ride corners a bit better in them? Um, I don't know. I, I don't think these are designed for that. Um, perhaps there is a product on the market that someone will send me. So I, I'll have to get corner. Georgie. You know what Georgie will do? She'll put a block. She'll put a block in that corner. She'll shout at me. <laughs> do you want me to put a block in the no. corner? <laughs> right, well. I'm just going to have fun with my pony, right? She's amazing, isn't she? Should we put the back bar up? Okie dokie. Just a little sneaky. Just a half? Yeah, <laughs> a half, but up to 125, please. Just the back bar? Yeah, I'm not a, not a maniac. <laughs> oh my, actually, I should do what I'm joking because I'm not, if I go too close to her, I'm too scared, but I'll have to work. So cheeky. It's not quite as big as me, guys. It's quite big. Tell you what, do you think it looks a bit deceiving having the second bar? Right, guys, we took the lower pole. Can you believe I'm attempting off. this without Georgie bullying me into it? No! I'm actually quite, I mean, the stirrups are obviously doing something. Yeah. I'm really scared. Usually, like Maggie only jumps this high if Georgie makes her. rubbish ride in. Should I do it again? Yeah, can you try and do it nicely? Stop wrecking my pony. Make sure you get a good angle. I'll try. <laughs> good girl. Good girl.
bigger than us. <laughs> it never looks as big on the camera, does it? Does no. It no. No, it's funny. It is big. It oh, really no. is big. It is big. And what I wanted to say as well, because people might be watching this video and be thinking like, well, you're just going to change your lower leg, like depending on the stirrups. But like, that's the biggest I ever jump. So it's not like yeah. a small, it's not like an easy thing for me. So when I'm jumping that fence, all I'm thinking about is getting over the fence. Like the lower leg in my head just like we went completely out the window. So everything that happened in my lower leg, I've not seen yet, but that is just down to the stirrups. Like it's not me consciously trying to move it. No, you're just, the only thing you're conscious of is surviving, isn't it? Yeah, the life is what I'm uh, trying to achieve on the other side of that green pole. I love you. You're a good pony. She's such a clever girl. She is so clever. Oh, you give her a walk off and then yes. uh, you can do a debrief. And then you grab your tea, Bear Bear. This is finally. <laughs> okay, Bear Bear's walked off. Nearly ready for her tea? Yes, I'm ready for my tea. <laughs> so there we have it. The trial of the lovely Pravin's stirrup leathers. I've said this a million times, guys, but you need to go to Glaze and Gordon if you're based in the UK because they are the only retailer that stock them to UK buyers. As I said at the start, they're very big in like France and Europe. We're a bit behind here, mm -hmm. behind the fashion trend, but you don't have to be because I've informed you now, guys. Overall review. Now, you guys know I wouldn't lie to you. I'm not affiliated with this brand. They've literally sent it to me to try out. They want my honest opinion. So if I didn't like them, I genuinely would tell you because I don't want you guys spending your money on things that I don't think is worth it. But I absolutely love them to the extent that I think I am going to buy myself another pair so that I can have them on like my two main eventers. They just give you so much more stability. You can definitely feel a difference when you change. I mean, as soon as I got on, I felt a difference, but changing between them really quickly, like my leg felt like it was moving so much more and not even just the lower leg, like literally my whole hip. So as, as I said, when I was on, it's like when you've got small stirrups, they sort of move from right from the top. Whereas this feels like you've only got that little bit of movement and you can see there's a massive, massive difference there. Really easy to keep, as you can see, you can still run them up because they are thin at the bottom. So you don't have to take them off after every ride or anything like that. Lovely quality. They will stretch a tiny bit. Obviously you shouldn't be putting any product on them, like I mentioned. So just bear that in mind when you do come to buying some. I'm absolutely in love. I, I haven't looked at the videos yet. I'm really intrigued to see if my lower leg looks any different. It certainly felt it. Uh, but I will have put the pictures in of when I jumped there last time over this size fence. And I remember as soon as I saw those pictures, I was like, oh, no, no, that's awful. So even if I had a small improvement on that, I'll be happy. So at the end of the day, if I ride in these for months, it's just gonna get better and better, hopefully. Yep. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you, Glaze and Gordons, for sending these lovely Pravin's leathers out. I am absolutely in love with them. I'm 100% sold. If you enjoyed this video, guys, comment down below. I'm going to try and be in the comment section for like the first 24 hours. So if you've got any sort of questions for me about how the leathers were like to ride in that I've not covered in this video, feel free to leave a comment. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and you can turn on the bell icon if you want notifications. I've got a really good video coming out next week. Similar style to this where I'm actually doing a trial of a different bit with the horse bit bank. So that should be a really good video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you very, very soon. Bye. In the